What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to what is going to be probably the most important episode you are likely to see of the My Player Career Mode here on the channel. Remember guys, we won the World Cup a long time ago, the first time we participated in it. We beat Uruguay in the final. Uh, on that sense, I didn't actually realise how important that was of course, you know, playing the My Player Career Mode. You come to understand how big it is to even reach these finals because you're not controlling the entire team. You know, in that sense, I played a lot of other career modes, got used to the fact I was winning a lot of stuff. And the My Player Career Mode, I've had a lot of successes, but I've also had a lot of negatives, you know, getting knocked out of the Champions League many, many times before going on to win that. So to win the World Cup the first time round was really, really good. And we have a chance today, guys, to do it for the second time. And that is how we got to this stage. We first played Argentina in that round of 16 where we weren't picked for it. So I had to go ahead and sim it. We ended up winning 5-4 on penalties. Then we played against Italy, where we ended up winning 2-0 in that one as well. Um, I scored in that, actually, with alongside Raheem Sterling. Then we played up against Brazil, where we took a match ball home with us, a hat-trick in that one. And then we managed to get ourselves through to the final, where we drew up against Spain. Spain's journey here, though, was somewhat slightly easier. They took on Poland originally, beat them 4-0, then taking on, I think, is that South Africa, before defeating them 5-1, and then beating Germany in the semi-finals three goals to two. So their kind of journey here was a little bit easier, but of course it was still tough. They had to get here. In terms of the player stats then, we are top on 10 goals at the moment during this World Cup stage. The highest for Germany is actually Volland, but he's of course not in the final. Denis Suarez actually, the man who is making the final, is uh, the Spanish top scorer at the moment with seven goals. So Denis Suarez, if I'm not mistaken, isn't even a striker. So in that sense, really good goals return for him. Also, they have Castillo up there as well, for themselves on three goals. And I think I'll let the next one below that. Have we even got anybody below that in there? No, we don't even have anybody who scored two or more goals at the moment. Oh, we might do. They're just not showing. In terms of assists, though, um, Koke for Spain is the highest assist maker. Barkley and Sterling both in there on three goals for us. So, yeah, we've got a job to do here, guys. And it's going to be really tough to see if we can, in fact, do it. But without further ado, we're going to move straight into this game here up against Spain to kickstart this episode off. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you do end up enjoying this episode, I would really appreciate a like rating. As always, guys, thank you for your continued support on the channel. But without further ado, as I said, we're going to move straight into this final here. I am going to be playing on Legendary as well. Um, so hopefully the game will be slightly more interesting or, or rather competitive in that sense. It may not be interesting because you've obviously seen Legendary beforehand. How annoying it is when there could only be literally two chances in the entire game. But we're going to play it on less seven minutes. Legendary difficulty. And let's go, guys. Let's get ourselves our hands on this World Cup. It's the biggest game I'm likely to play during the entirety or remainder of this series. So, yeah, we need to get a victory here. As I mentioned yesterday, guys, as well, in yesterday's video, we will only be playing one game in today's episode. As I personally feel as though the World Cup deserves its own individual episode for the final. But as I mentioned as well, we will actually be coming up against a few of our teammates here in this one. Of course, playing for Real Madrid, um, the big Spanish club, it is likely... There'll be a fair few Real Madrid players in this lineup. We'll see exactly what their team looks like in just a moment. Of course, you saw ours before we moved into this one. But for anybody who missed it, we will check it out in a second here in more detail. As the two national anthems are played out as well, guys, I'm really looking forward to this. I feel as though we have the quality. It's just there for to see who can play better out of the two teams on the day. So although we've got a really, really good solid squad here at England, you know, we still have to play well. And at the end of the day, um, we need to make sure we're doing it. One thing to note as well, guys... The little star above the England crest should actually say two now. Of course, it only says one at the moment due to the fact of us only winning one World Cup. But we've now won two, of course, with the fact that we won it earlier on in the series. So it could potentially have three stars here. Well, that's what we should have. But unfortunately, you don't have the ability to create and amend kits in this game. And that is one of the things that is going to be in my uh, top 10 wish list for the FIFA 18 career mode. That is certainly going to be up there. I do already recognise as well, guys, Hector Bellerin, of course, the Real Madrid right back on his uh, sign from... Um, Arsenal over to Real to join us last season. So he starts for them today. Alvin Morata's in the side as well. I'm pretty sure he's still at Real Madrid. And there's a couple of other guys in there as well. De Gea, of course, is the Spaniard goalkeeper today. And he's going to be tough to beat. And I've just said, I realise that I've just said Spaniard goalkeeper. What an absolute mug I am. I meant to say Spanish goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Anyways, that is the team for anybody who missed it. Very solid squad. Can't really say too much about it being anywhere weak at all. I personally feel as though every single player on that pitch there is brilliant. The Spain squad, though, they have a very good squad as well. So it's going to be tough, this one. They are playing a very, very similar formation. Actually, it's the same formation to what we're playing. Grimaldo at left back, Bellerin at right back. 
I feel confident, though, against these two centre-backs. So we'll see what happens in today's game, guys. But without further ado, World Cup final coming at you live. There it is. Won the ball back, and I've got the ball played through as well. Ah, oh, just... Uh, there was no run. There was no run. Actually, we've got past a couple of players here. And still, and I'm still going, shoot that. Ross Barkley strike. Good save near post by De Gea. Well played, De Gea. What a save that was. But that was our first real opportunity of the game. And I don't know why. I just didn't take on the defender. And then it felt like I was running so slow towards the goal. I was not happy with my speed there. But we got a chance off it regardless. And Ross Barkley did test the palms of De Gea. Speaking of which, Ross Barkley's on the ball again here. He doesn't manage to flick that through the gap. Half-time whistle goes, guys. That basically sums up what's been a shocking half so far. I mean, I don't remember two shots being coming in, but all right. Yeah, we'll work with that. So far, guys, our team has been shocking with the service up front. I'm having to drop so deep, and there's been nothing coming my way. It's got to open up in a second. I can see Spain winning this one, guys. Come on. There we go. Nice win back. I don't know what I'm going to do from this, though. No one's been making the run. Look how long, look how long it took for Sterling and Barkley to actually make a run there. Why were they not sprinting as soon as they realised I had the ball at my feet? Oh my god, this game has been so, so frustrating so far. No, don't do this now. Don't do this. Hector Bellerin, nice ball inside. Morata over the top. No way, they've just scored. I can't believe it, guys. I genuinely cannot believe the way that has just happened. Are you kidding me right now? We have been shocking for 65 minutes of this game. Giving the ball away, playing stupid passes. And that is the way we've conceded. Nobody picking him up at the back stick. Nathaniel Klein, I don't know where you have gone walking. But this has been one of the worst performances I have seen from an England shirt so far. And I can't even blame myself. I've had no supply in the entire game. My God, we have around about 20 minutes to go. Something needs to change. That's not it. No, 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 no. 89th minute. There it is. Klein, through the gap. Make that run. There it is. Klein. No. Are you kidding me? You had so much time, Nathaniel. He had all the time in the world. To... Oh, my God. No. Barkley. Ross. Somebody put it in. Please. No, they've just cleared it. I don't believe it, guys. I don't believe it. We've lost. World Cup final has gone to Spain. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Nathaniel Klein with the biggest opportunity to score. And he... Oh, dear me, man. That is an absolute joke. I cannot believe he just lost that game. I was there frustrated for 90 minutes of that game. The supply was just not there today. We were shocking. I had no service up front. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Klein just wasted the biggest opportunity he's going to have of his entire career to score one of the most important goals ever. And he, instead of taking it forward, decided to slide on the ball. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The AI's decision making in this game is absolute, or is an absolute joke. Seriously, man, that is shocking. But congratulations to Spain, I guess. They deserve to win it on the day. They put the ball in the back of the net. And they are the ones who will hoist the World Cup trophy. So that is it, pretty much, of the World Cup, guys. There will not be another World Cup that we will be partaking in in this series. But to lose it the way we did, to have no service up front to me, and then to have the situation that it was in for Klein, it's honestly heartbreaking. It seriously is. And we're not even going to get to see that Klein chance again because it's, for some reason, not in the match highlights. But, oh, my word. The game was even. There were six shots. But the supply just wasn't there. Well, that just is heartbreaking, man. Seriously is. But there you go. World Cup over and done with. Spain come out right winners. I guess the only thing I can take from this uh, is a top scorer award. But even that is not really something that I can cherish. But... Yeah, that is it, guys, for the World Cup. And we, unfortunately, are not World Cup champions. So, there you go. There is a news article. Spain are World Cup winners. And that is, honestly, frustrating. Seriously is. You know what? We might get our hands on the World Cup player. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, that is... 
Oh, I can't believe it, guys. I just can't believe it. All right, guys. So from the next episode, we'll be having the Super Copper up against Barcelona. Um, yeah, losing it the way we did. Frustrating, but... I'll show you a squad report here. If you want to check out any more players in any more detail, simply pause it on whichever one you guys want to check out. See some new players who've come into the team potentially and some other ones who have left. But yeah, like I mentioned, to lose it the way we did, it's not the most, you know, kind of nice thing to have. And it just kind of really frustrated me the way we had no service up front. Like there was nothing coming our way. And it was a shocking performance from every single England player on that pitch. Like nobody was like kind of picking up the ball in dangerous areas and trying to service me. And even if I could have got back, I would have dropped so deep, but then there was nothing going forward. And then Klein missing that last chance, like two minutes from time, really tilted me. But do you know what? It is the way it is. And congratulations to Spain, of course, winning themselves another World Cup. But that potentially is it now, guys, for the World Cups. I don't think we're going to have another one on this series. We may have one more Euros, but we don't quite know exactly how far we're going with this one here. But yeah, that's it from me for this episode, guys. As I mentioned, regardless of whatever happened in that final, we would only have one game in today's episode. So maybe I will hand in a transfer request. I'm not know yet if I will do. We have got... Um, wait, no. I don't know who got player of the competition for the World Cup. But uh, Anthony Martial is still here. Anyways, that's one thing to note, guys. I'm going to go ahead and change the pro, actually. I'm going to change him up a little bit. We're going to change his hair and stuff because, yeah, it's probably about time we've done that. So we're going to actually go to a... Let's have a look at some of these hairstyles. You know what? I might just run with a just normal hairstyle, really. I don't know. Screw it. We'll run with that one. I'm also going to get rid of the the, uh, the facial hair because uh, it seems like we've had it ages now. There you go. So we're going to get rid of the facial hair. I'm also going to go ahead and change the boots. Why not? And we'll change them to something like... Let's have a look, actually. I want to change them to some Nike ones, possibly. In fact, wait. What are the New Balance ones like? Actually, we'll change it to some New Balance. Do I go with the whites, uh, the blue and white, or do I go with the red and yellow? Hmm. I'm going to go with those ones. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'll be back at you with another episode very, very soon. We'll be taking on Barcelona in the Super Copa final. It looks as if it's over two legs, actually. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, it is over two legs. So, we'll have that one. And then we've got the Cup of Europe as well against West Ham, which is crazy. So, in the space of two days, we'll have played two legs. So, maybe I'll only have to play the first leg and then I'll have to play that one. And we won't play that one there. But we'll see, anyways, guys. That'll be all in the next episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one, even if we have lost it. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate like rating. As always, thank you for your continued support on the channel. You guys are all amazing for everything you guys do for me and the channel. But if you want to follow me on any social links, the links are in the description below. And we'll catch you all with another video very, very soon. Stay tuned. Adios.